हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल स्टूडेंट्स होम्योपैथी एंड लेट्स लर्न टुगेदर केंस फिलोसॉफी इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट मैनुस्क्रिप्ट्स ऑफ होम्योपैथी अंडरस्टैंडिंग केंस फिलोसॉफी इंक्रीजेस वंस डेप्थ एंड एक्यूमेन इन होम्योपैथी सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस लेक्चर नंबर 31 फ्रॉम केंस फिलोसॉफी दैट इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एफरिज्म 146 ऑफ ऑर्गनन स्टेट्स दैट The third point in the duty of the physician is to employ those medicines whose pure effects have been proved upon a healthy person in the manner best suited to the cure of natural diseases homeopathically. This aphorism defines the specific remedy in homeopathy. Now, what is specific remedy in homeopathy? Specific remedy is what we call a similimum or the remedy that is in homeopathy city. In other words, a medicine which is not only has been selected on the basis of symptom similarity but also has already proved its homeopathy city through cure is known as the specific remedy in homeopathy. Note that in homeopathy there are specifics for individual cases of disease but not for diseases in general but the old school have specific remedies for different diseases in general for example in homeopathy one case of diarrhea needs one specific and another case of diarrhea may need another specific but old school have one specific drug for diarrhea in general the old school physicians do not individualize one case of disease from another but we the homeopaths do a specific remedy in homeopathy characterizes the disease then what does it mean by saying characterizes so characterizing means individualizing or differentiating one case of disease from all other similar cases now let's know how to characterize a case of disease in order to characterize a case of disease first we have to collect all the symptoms of the patient and form the totality then we have to study that totality to select only those symptoms that characterizes that patient that is the peculiar characteristic symptoms the metro medica should also be studied in the same manner that is we should study the symptom pictures of the medicines and find out which ones among them characterize them next we should match the symptoms of the patient with the symptoms of medicine and find that single remedy whose characteristic symptoms are the most similar of all other symptoms to the characteristic symptoms of the patient and this is the most similar remedy for that particular case However at this stage we cannot call this remedy as specific or similimum or homeopathic we can only assume it to be so only after it proves its homeopathicity by curing the case we can say that it is a specific remedy for that case of disease but if a remedy cannot produce cure it is unhomeopathic it can't be called as specific or homeopathic to the case kent has said we cannot call a medicine as homeopathic only because it has been used by the homeopaths or because it has been attenuated and prepared according to homeopathic principles to be called as homeopathic the medicine has to prove its homeopathicity by cure so then what constitutes a remedy homeopathic that is specific according to kent a remedy can be called homeopathic only if it has produced cure after being prescribed on symptom similarity and the recovery has followed herring's law of cure that is from above downward from within outward and in the reverse order of the symptoms next kent has mentioned aphorism number 148 and said that hanneman has given the theory that is modus operandi of homeopathic cure under this aphorism but he has left it upon us that whether we agree with it or not he has not bounded us to accept the theory however the aphorism 149 is about the general statement regarding the result of homeopathic prescription which is based on hanneman's practical experience 
so it must be accepted by us because it's true going in this line kent writes that if we face failure then it means that we have not selected the right remedy we should take the responsibility of it and should not blame the homeopathic system and its principles while prescribing if we keep it in mind that every individual case of disease is different from others and prescribe for individual cases of disease only then we will not face failures in other words instead of emphasizing on common symptoms of disease if we consider the characteristic peculiar symptoms that individualize one case of disease from other then only we will be able to select the right remedy it doesn't matter whether it's a chronic or an acute disease we should follow the same principle then kent has mentioned about aphorism 150 that says if a patient complains of slightly accessory symptoms which have just appeared the physician ought not to take this state of things for a perfect malady that seriously demands medicinal aid etc etc can explains it like this while treating a chronic case with constitutional medicine we should not interfere by prescribing for ordinary acute troubles or indispositions for example we should not prescribe for simple cold indigestion etc that result from error in diet and regimen while the patient is being treated for his chronic disease a slight alternation of diet and regimen is sufficient to correct them only when the acute disorder is causing serious trouble then we should prescribe for these accessory symptoms the physician should search out all the symptoms those are less developed and form a totality so that he could select the most similar medicine for that particular case when the acute diseases are of severe degree they stand out sharply and thus it becomes easier for us to prescribe for them but the slight indispositions lack characteristic symptoms and the selection of medicine in these cases becomes doubtful in cases of indisposition we should either prescribe no medicine or prescribe placebo and they subside by themselves without causing much trouble to the patient however occasionally a dose of constitutional medicine should be prescribed when they have no existing troubles in terms of indisposition so let's quickly summarize this specific remedy in homeopathy refers to the similimum that is the remedy that is in homeopathicity after a remedy has been selected on the basis of symptom similarity we can call it as the most similar remedy but not as the specific or similimum or homeopathic only after it proves its homeopathicity through cure we can call it as a specific or similimum or homeopathic in homeopathy there are specifics for individual cases of disease but not for diseases in general on the other hand old school has specific remedies for different diseases in general a specific remedy in homeopathy characterizes the disease symptoms that characterize a patient or a medicine are called as peculiar characteristic symptoms A remedy can be said to be homeopathic only if it has produced cure after being prescribed on symptom similarity and the recovery followed the Herring's law of cure. If someone is under homeopathic treatment for his chronic disease and he develops ordinary acute trouble or indisposition, he should not be prescribing for it. However, occasional doses of constitutional medicine should be given to him when there are no active symptoms of indisposition. On the other hand, if the acute disorder is causing serious trouble then we should prescribe for it so that's all for this video if you have not yet subscribed to our channel students homeopathy please subscribe it now and also click on the bell icon and select all so that you will not miss any of our informative educational and interesting videos on homeopathy and please provide your valuable feedback in the comment section also we will love to answer your queries on this topic thank you for watching